Today is gonna be a raw video of me editing my short form content in my own style. And you can take what I show you and go do it for yourself in your own content. Now today I'm gonna to be trying out a new style because I'm really just testing the waters with uh, different editing styles. So we're gonna go ahead and do sort of like the uh, the clean sort of uh, Tom Nosk effect. Cause I just really been liking the simple sort of style. So that's what we're gonna be running with today. This is gonna to be a fun video for me because I don't know how to do this and it's like a new learning thing. It's gonna be a fun video for you because you're gonna be learning along with me. My name is Chris Wiestead and I've been editing short form content for a good year and a half now professionally. And I run the Takeover store where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. So we have our footage loaded up, which by the way, down in the description below, if you guys wanna go ahead and follow along on this tutorial, download this exact video. It's gonna be raw, so that way you can just go ahead, practice your short form content editing skills. Shout out my homie right here on screen. He's been asking for it, so I figured I'd share with you guys. So first things first, once you have the footage sort of loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to my takeover editing preset pack, and then I'm just gonna slap on my LUT and leave it at that. That actually looks really good. And then we are gonna go to the audio fix, and I'm gonna throw that on my audio, just so that way our audio and our color grades are already applied for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and play through, and we're gonna go ahead and start cutting up the video. So using the C tool and the V tool, we're gonna start cutting the video. So now that we have our basic cuts completed, I'm gonna go through and add my overlay transitions and then also the adjustment layer zoom in, zoom outs um, onto the video. And the way that I would usually do it is by using my grunge style effects pack, but because I wanna share with you guys how to do it just complete from scratch, I'm not gonna be using it in today's video, but if you're interested, go ahead and watch this video in the top right corner. I'm gonna to go to Premiere Composer because this is where I keep all of my overlays. You guys can go ahead and import your overlays just as you would normally just look through see which one i like the best i like this one pretty good we're gonna go ahead and add it so now that we have our transition overlay i'm gonna go ahead and resize it because this is a 1080p timeline and this is a 4k file um, so we need to resize it and i'm gonna go to lighten we're gonna leave it like that and then also i'm gonna add a sound effect to it um, which by the way if you guys want this free sound effect link will also be down in the description below in my uh free creator pack so it's gonna come with this click I love using this sound for all of my overlays. I'm just gonna line it up and I'm gonna do like um, G and I'm gonna do negative 10 so that way it's not super loud. And then I'm gonna go ahead, link these two together by holding shift and then right clicking and then hitting link. Now that we have these linked together, we can go ahead and start adding in our overlays. So let's go ahead and play through the video and see where we uh, want our overlays. And typically with overlays, we want them to be where the train of thought sort of changes a little bit. So. want to put it right here. Pure burnout. I was tired of working 10 to 12 hours a day, fulfilling four clients, no weekends, no time spent with my family or friends, or do simple things like hitting the gym, going out to eat, or sometimes even missing meals. So I knew I... Throwing right here, copy paste it. So I knew I had to make this wish ASAP. And ultimately I decided on selling products to my audience, which by the way, if you're creative, link in bio. As it made so much sense for me, my audience was editors and creatives. So I was like, yo, I'm an editor creative. What can I sell to my audience? And that's what I just audience. And that's what I just oh, sell to my audience. And that's what I discovered. I literally had a banger product just in the vault that I was using each and every single day, which I swear this isn't an advertisement for that product at all. But anyways, I started there and then at the end of the reels i usually like to throw half of it so that way it loops perfectly in the beginning um so that's a good little tip so now that we have our first run of overlays added let's go ahead and add our zoom in zoom outs and that's typically how i edit videos is i just like to do passes through the entire sequence so that way um it just sort of goes faster in my opinion so now we go ahead and just drag and drop this and then we're gonna do we're actually gonna leave the intro clean right now because we don't want to do the hook yet because the hook is kind of where you want to throw all of your attention towards Pure I was tired of so i'm going to do like 
maybe for this one, we're just going to go ahead, go to transform. This is typically where you do all your zoom ins. So I kind of just want sort of maybe this whole section to just scale in the entire time. Maybe you just do like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in the actual base video real quick. It's like 53, something like that. Something like that as well over here. Okay, so this is moving a little too fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out. And then we're also just going to bring this keyframe back. So the key thing with your zoom ins is you want it to be super subtle. If it's too noticeable, it looks cheesy. So it looks fire. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and just continue doing with this sort of zoom in. So I'm going to control C it and we'll find another space to add it. We're going to go ahead and throw it right here. Drag this out. Digital products to my audience, which by the way, if you're creative. We're going to go ahead and zoom. We're going to zoom out. Uh, we're going to zoom in right here. To my audience, which by the way, if you're creative, link in bio. That made so much sense for me. My audience was editors and creatives. So I was like, yo, I'm an editor creative. What can I sell to my audience? And that's what I discovered. I literally had a banger product just in the vault that I was using each and every single day, which I swear is an average. We're going to go ahead and zoom in again right here. I was using each and every single day, which I swear this isn't advertising for that product at all. But anyways, I started selling that product immediately and started to see my first few sales roll in. And the first time I heard the Shopify sound effect go off my phone. And then right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and do more of a fancier zoom in. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to transform, drag and drop the transform, um, throw or uncheck this, throw this all the way up to get some motion blur. And then we're going to go to scale and we're going to leave the position as is. I kind of just want to do like a scale in. So we're going to start it at a hundred and then we're going to do like scale in just like so maybe like 120 or something like that. And then we're going to select keyframes, right click the bezier and then we're going to make like a smooth curve just like so something like this. Um, so it's like kind of just smooth in the middle, kind of calms down at the end. And then we'll see how this looks. I started selling that product immediately and started to see my first few sales. Fire. Cool. Roll in. And the first now I want to throw it actually over in this area. Sales roll in. And the first time I heard the Shopify sound effect go off my phone, I was immediately. I like that. Now in and then we'll go ahead and just cut it right there. And we'll just keep going. Real quick, I'm going to use my takeover smooth zoom in effect right here, just so that way it's a drag and drop process. Showing you guys that this preset pack is actually pretty gas. Link down below. Experiencing the growth that I've always knew to be true. What was one? Super fire. It's bringing me in $456 a month. It's now bringing me in over $4,000 in over $4,000 per month. I'm going to go ahead and do another adjustment layer. I'm going to make it a little longer. Drag and drop. So sick. And then we're also going to add the sort of smooth just zoom in throughout the entire process. If that makes sense throughout the entire clip. So I'm going to send you my exact roadmap to my first $10,000 a month online selling digital. Fire. Cool. So that is how you guys add overlays and camera movement. Let's go ahead and add a track above the video layer. So that way we can edit below. With your adjustment layers, you want sort of all of the edits to be below them, like text, etc. So that way the text moves with the actual camera, kind of just creating like that fake 3D movement and just it makes it look a lot more smoother and a lot more cohesive. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a track, probably add like a good healthy amount to where you don't have to worry about it too, too much. And then now, so now that we have sort of the basic edits, we're going to go ahead and do the hook last because that's where we want to spend the most time. Um, let's go ahead and scroll through, see if there's any text or words that pops out or if I refer to something that I could throw up as a screenshot or something on screen to show what I'm talking about. We're going to go ahead and add that inside of the reel. So let's go ahead and watch through, see what we can uh, find. Burnout. I was tired of working 10 to 12 hours a day. 
tired of working 10 to 12 hours a day. So I'm going to do 10 to 12 hours a day. Just throw on the uh, text tool and then do hours just like so. And I'm going to select it all. And then we're going to go over here to essential graphics, center it, center, center. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the font Mont uh, Sarah or something like that. I don't know what it's called. And we're going to do, we're going to do black actually, because black is like really, really thick. And like the thickness is like pretty, pretty good. Don't be weird. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and just like merge them tighter together like that. And then, yeah, that looks pretty solid to me. And with this stage, you're not really looking to do anything too saucy yet because we're not trying to add the animations. So just keep it very chill. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just move the text actually down sort of in this area. Then we're just going to go ahead and cut it and we're just not even going to add an animation yet. We'll do our passive animations later. Okay. I'm going to do a ASAP. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in ASAP right here. So ASAP digital products. It's going to do digital and products. Just like that. We're going to scale it up, play with it a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead, make it like so. You just squish them together a little bit. Sweet. Selling low ticket. And then I'm also going to add um, some of my like digital products. So that way people can see like what digital products I'm talking about or what digital products even are. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think that's actually a killer. I'll do that. Maybe we'll even do this. We'll place it centered like this. We'll scale it up just like so. And then we'll also bring this below. So that way it looks pretty saucy. And then let's see if this looks good. It might not, which is fine. Yeah, no, that looks out of place. Okay, cool. So same thing. We're just going to keep moving on. When I say, what can I sell to my audience? I kind of want my video to be like very like honed in on me saying that. So I'm going to add a new item color matte. Just like so. And we'll do just uh, black. It'll be a black screen. Then I'm just going to cut it like this. Can I sell? So I'm going to be like. Like, yo, I'm an editor creative. What can I sell to my audience? And that's what I just. Okay. What can I sell to my audience? I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste this text over here. Drag and drop it over here. Cut it. If, if, what can I. And then I'm going to actually center this. Center. Center. Okay. And then I'm just going to do what? What can I? If, if, what can I? And can I, I sell, sell to, my to my, and then audience. So oh. what? And then we'll go ahead and change this. Can I okay. sell to and then my fire. Creative. What can I sell to my audience? And that's what I discovered. I fire looks super clean. It was right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it. Literally had a banger product just in the vault that I was using each and every single day. I'm just gonna go ahead and nest this because we re changed the size so much. Um, so that way when you add the animations, the animation will be kind of messed up because of the sizing is so different. So to mitigate that, I just change it to the size I want it and then nest it. So the flow of like the text looks really good. So now I just need to change the text. So I think it was, I was, no, I, I was, okay. So it was. Immediate. I was immediately hooked. I was immediately hooked. Now, eight months later, I'm finally fire. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this right here. Cut it like so, and then I'm gonna scale this up. 
then I'm also going to bring this down a little bit, just like right in this area. What was once bringing me in of four hundred fifty-six dollars a month is now bringing me in over four. Don't do something like that. Or the month is. Dollars a month is now bringing me. And then this looks terrible right now, but trust, we have not put on animations yet, and we're getting there. What was once bringing me in? Of we're actually in the center of this, actually. Once bringing me in of four hundred fifty-six dollars a month is now bringing me in over four thousand dollars per. Per thousand dollars. Bringing me in over four thousand dollars. And we'll do just copy paste these, and then I'll just do per month. Per month. Thousand dollars per month. All with only two hours of work a day, if that. So comment BTS. I'm gonna send you my. Okay, cool. So we are almost done. Last step, just comment BTS. Little call to action right here. Honestly, just gonna let it do the entire thing. So I'm gonna do comment, and then BTS. And I'm gonna do like little processes so that way people know what's going on. I'm gonna make this a uh, bit smaller. Make this bigger. Just like so. Mess with the spacing like this. And then let's see if this looks good. I'm gonna do a little stroke. Yeah, fire. Cool. It looks clean. And then we'll also move this from the center a little bit down below, just like so. Bars. Hey, if that. So come in BTS, I'm gonna send you my exact roadmap to my first ten. Fire. Cool. Sounds good. So now that we have everything sort of laid out on the timeline, let's go ahead and start adding our animations. So same thing, go to the beginning. I'm gonna use my takeover editing pack for this. You guys can go ahead and use the transform tool and uh, just create presets for yourself. Or if you wanna save yourself time, you can just go copy these preset pack. I use it each and every single day. Otherwise, I wouldn't be selling it to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, slide in up, slide down out. Fire I like that. I'm gonna add like a little bit of a shake. Tired of working ten to twelve hours a day, fulfilling four. Okay, it was a little too fast. So, if the uh, the effects are too fast, what you can go ahead and do is just uh, get rid of the effects real quick. The uh, and then you just make it like longer right here. And then you just do the same exact thing. Um, you can just do slide or slide in up, slide down out, and then also add the shake. Select those all and then just like drag and drop and then you're good to go. It's already edited for you. That's exactly what I wanted. So we're just going to keep doing the same exact process for all of these sort of things. So I knew I had to make the switch. We're just going to do a slide in up on this one, slide in up and then just a shake medium. So I knew I had to make the switch ASAP and also we're going to drag this over. Then we're gonna cut it. And also I'm gonna scale in because there's like almost like a weird difference going on. I knew I had to make the switch ASAP. And ultimately I decided just like so. low ticket. And this is we're gonna drag this out just to make it a little bit longer. Um we're gonna do this slide. These are already selected, so we're just gonna select the slide down out because we want to slide in, slide down. Decided on selling low ticket digital products to my audience. Now, also, I want to add focus to the uh, actual product. So I'm going to add a darken plus blur effect. And then we're going to do it in and no out, meaning it fades in, but it also doesn't, but it doesn't fade out. I did on selling low ticket digital products to my audience, which, by the way, so just like that looks pretty clean. So I'm going to add a transition overlay right here, just like smooth things out. <laughs> okay, so I say link in bio. Um, I'm just gonna like do a desaturation effect. This is kind of like more of a creative sort of thing to do, um, just because it's kind of funny. It, 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 products to my audience, which by the way, if you're creative, link in bio. As it made so much sense for me, my audience was editors, fire creatives. So I was like, yo, I'm an editor creative. What can I sell to my audience? And that's what I discovered. I literally had a big 
Okay, cool. Same exact thing. Slide in up. And then we're not going to do slide down out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So I'm going to actually add, I'm going to nest these text layers together because I wanted to like kind of do like a little like fade in. So I actually created this preset. This is going to actually be in the takeover pack right now. It's not, um, but it will be in the takeover pack at the time of this being uploaded. So slide in up and then um, let's see how it looks. I was immediately fire. So freaking easy, bro. Let's go. Same exact thing. Um, we're going to go back to the takeover pack. I'm going to add some rounded corners to these screenshots real quick. So I'm going to go over here to rounded corners. It's going to make these corners rounded. Um, I don't really like the size on this one. So let's go ahead and change the roughen. Just like so. Just like that. 24. It's probably going to be the same exact thing for this one. So we're going to go down, go to about the same value. That looks good to me. Um, and then we're going to do the slide in, slide in up. And then we're going to do the, uh, the shake medium. One's bringing me in $456 a month is now bringing me in over $4,000 per month. We're going to go ahead and add the slide in up shake medium. And then we're also going to do a blurry text effect because I think that looks pretty good sometimes. So we're going to do blurry text effect drag and drop it and it kind of looks just like it's like more closer to the screen kind of like there's like fake camera blur going on so coming bts i'm going to send you my exact roadmap to my first ten thousand dollars a month online selling digital products fire cool so that is the first like sort of beef of the edit um this is pretty much done minus the captions and the hook so Let's go ahead and create our hook. Let's go ahead and do the clean topography sort of hook that I showed you guys how to do in the last tutorial. So as you guys can see, this takes a lot of like just finesse. So this is what I got so far. I'm gonna have the word like all in pop up. So go ahead and just copy this. Um, I'm just gonna do all in. Go ahead and separate these a little bit. Center it like that. Go all in selling low ticket. Go ahead and add the animation for this one. Add the animations onto this, have it slide out. I left my thirty thousand dollar business to go all in selling low ticket this and low ticket. Let's see, bring this down. Low ticket, digital products. And we're just going to add the uh, shadow to this guy right here, just like so. So now this is our hook so far. I left my $30,000 business to go all in selling low. Going to bring this down. All our business to go all in selling low. It's a little low. Bring that up a little bit. fire cool so now i'm going to go ahead and nest this second layer so that we could add the animation and then also we're going to nest the entire front hook just like so we're going to add that animation that i was telling you guys about earlier which essentially is just a slide in with a uh, opacity effect added to it drag and drop those right there i left my thirty thousand dollar business to go Fire. And then also last step for the hook is adding your adjustment layer, which is your camera movement. And then we want to have like a big zoom out. So I'm going to go to a transform just like so transform. And then we're going to give ourselves some room to work with, go down here, check this, get some motion blur going and then scale, bring this out over here and then scale pretty decently far in just like that. And then grab a Bezier, right click Bezier, 
drag this out and then play with this keyframe. So bring that over like that. We want it to be like a quick one. So let's see how that one's too slow. So we could either bring this in like this, but I'm kind of not liking that. Let's go ahead and just increase this or bring this down just like that. Fire. Go ahead, tweak this real quick. Bring this down a little bit more. Position. Then go ahead, add some shakes real quick to this stuff. Make it just a little bit more flowy, a little bit more cool, I guess. I left my thirty thousand dollar business to go all in selling low ticket digital products. And to be honest, add an overlay. I'm gonna add the overlay as well in the beginning. Cut that in half. Slice it and bring it all the way to the beginning, like so. My $30,000 to go all in selling low ticket digital products. Okay, sick. So now that we are like very, very close to finishing this edit, which I know this is a very long video going on 52 minutes. Um, I just really want to share with you guys the sauce that everyone is using. So let's go ahead and add this adjustment layer up here and then make sure we have a full blank track for our text, which is going to go in this one right here. We want to add our captions. So the way that we do that is we go to text, we go to transcript, retranscribe. I do the generate the static one because it's easiest for me. And then we go to that transcribe. It'll transcribe your audio for you, which I have a video on this if I'm going too fast, but I'm really just trying to like, you know, finish this edit. I'm excited to get it posted. Um, create captions, maximum length for short form. I do nine and then I do that at the very bottom lines, single. Don't really ever do double, to be honest. Like double just looks kind of cheesy. Then we're gonna select all the text, go over here to essential graphics, center it. 200 is the value that I like to use. And then we are gonna be using, let's see, does Akira look good on this? We might use Akira. Yeah, we'll use Akira. We'll do a little slant, just like that. And then we'll add size to the shadow so it's not so harsh. Just like that and that honestly looks really good to me i might increase it to like about 55. see how that looks cool and then we'll just play it through and cut out the text that we don't need so in the hook you don't really need too much text because there's already text there so we'll just cut that out so now that you went through go ahead select all of your text go to graphics and tabs upgrade captions to graphics and then drag this down over here into the blank track now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and actually throw some graphics on top of the text because sometimes I feel like it just would look better if the graphics overlaid. Um, so this part, um, and then, yeah, I think that's about good. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys want to go ahead and watch the final video, it is linked down below. Go ahead, check out my Instagram. It'll be posted by the time this video is up. And if you made it this far, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Remember, take action, take over. Peace.